California has always been a trendsetter, but now it seems even Mother Nature is pushing limits. California's water supply is depleting faster than ever, and the reasons are more unusual than you'd think. Stay with us to uncover the hidden causes behind this alarming crisis. Known for its sunny weather, beautiful landscapes, and thriving agriculture, California is facing a serious issue beneath its picturesque surface, water shortages. This problem isn't new, but it's reached a critical point recently, impacting millions of people, farms, and industries. To grasp the severity of the situation, let's explore the historical context and recent statistics that highlight California's water crisis. Water issues in California have deep roots. The state's climate naturally cycles between drought and wet periods. Native American tribes adapted to these cycles, but European settlers in the 18th and 19th centuries drastically changed the landscape. As California's population grew, so did the demand for water. The mid-1800s gold rush brought a surge of settlers and miners, putting pressure on water resources. Mining, agriculture, and population growth led to extensive water infrastructure development. Dams, aqueducts, and canals were built to transport water from wetter regions to dry areas. In the early 20th century, massive water projects like the Hetch Hetchy Aqueduct, 1914, and the California State Water Project, 1960s, aimed to distribute water from northern to southern California. However, these efforts also set the stage for future conflicts over water rights and allocation. Fast forward to today, California's water crisis is more severe than ever. The state is experiencing its driest period in over 1,200 years, according to a study in Science. This prolonged drought has devastated both urban and rural areas. The Sierra Nevada mountain range, providing about one-third of California's water, has seen a significant decrease in snowpack. In 2021, snowpack was only 59% of the average, and in 2022, it dropped to just 38%. Snowpack acts as a natural reservoir, slowly releasing water into rivers and reservoirs as it melts. Reduced snowpack means less water during the dry summer months. Major reservoirs are at historically low levels. Lake Oroville, one of California's largest reservoirs, was only 22% full in 2021 compared to its average of 69%. Similarly, Shasta Lake, the state's largest reservoir, was at 31% capacity, well below its historical average. As surface water sources become scarce, Californians are increasingly relying on groundwater. However, this has led to the overextraction of groundwater reserves. In some areas, the water table has dropped by more than 100 feet in recent years. Overextraction can cause land subsidence, where the ground sinks, damaging infrastructure and reducing the capacity of aquifers to store water. California is a leading agricultural producer in the United States, supplying over a third of the country's vegetables and two-thirds of its fruits and nuts. The drought has forced many farmers to fallow fields, reducing crop production. In 2021, farmers left more than 400,000 acres unplanted due to water shortages. This not only affects the food supply but also the livelihoods of thousands of farm workers. Cities and towns across California have enforced strict water conservation measures. Residents are urged to take shorter showers, fix leaks, and limit outdoor watering. Some communities have even imposed fines for excessive water use. In Los Angeles, residents must reduce water usage by 20% compared to previous years. The drought has also heightened the risk of wildfires. Dry conditions create an ideal environment for wildfires to ignite and spread. In 2021, California saw over 7,000 wildfires that burned more than 2 million acres. These fires not only destroy homes and ecosystems but also strain the state's limited water resources due to the vast amounts needed for firefighting. Behind these statistics are real people facing the consequences of water shortages. Farmers must decide which crops to water and which to let die. Families cut back on water use to avoid penalties and conserve. Communities unite to find solutions and support each other through these challenges. One example is Mendota, in California's Central Valley, known as the Cantaloupe Center of the World. The drought has hit Mendota hard. Farmers have let fields go dry, leading to significant economic losses. Many farm workers have lost their jobs, and the community is struggling. Despite these hardships, residents work together to find innovative ways to conserve water and support local agriculture. California faces a complex water crisis due to climate change, population growth, and outdated water management. 
Solving it requires cooperation and innovation across sectors like government, agriculture, industry, and individuals. Climate change intensifies the crisis with higher temperatures, prolonged droughts, reduced Sierra Nevada snowfall, and rising sea levels, all causing severe water shortages. Higher temperatures lead to increased evaporation from water bodies, reduced soil moisture, and higher agricultural water needs amid dwindling supply. The situation worsens with longer, more frequent droughts. Less rainfall reduces water in reservoirs and rivers, intensifying water scarcity. Prolonged droughts also weaken natural vegetation, raising wildfire risks that strain water resources further. California's Sierra Nevada, crucial for water supply, suffers heavily from climate change. Typically, winter snow there melts slowly, sustaining water flow into rivers and reservoirs. But warmer temperatures now cause more rain than snow, leading to quick runoff that doesn't replenish the snowpack. Earlier melting also means less water during crucial dry months. Over decades, Sierra Nevada's snowpack has consistently fallen below average, e.g., only 59% in 2021 and dropping to 38% in 2022. This diminished snowpack reduces mountain water storage, decreasing availability during the dry season. Climate change affects California's water supply by raising sea levels. As temperatures rise, polar ice melts and oceans expand, causing sea levels to rise. This rise leads to saltwater intrusion, where ocean salt infiltrates freshwater aquifers, especially in coastal areas. This contamination makes freshwater unfit for drinking and irrigation. Coastal communities and nearby agricultural regions face heightened vulnerability. Higher sea levels also heighten flood risks in low-lying areas, complicating water management and diminishing freshwater quality and quantity. California, the most populous state in the U.S. with nearly 40 million residents, has seen rapid population growth in recent decades. This growth brings economic opportunities and cultural diversity but also intensifies the demand for water. With more people needing water for daily activities like drinking, cooking, and bathing, existing supplies face strain amid droughts and other limitations. Businesses, schools, and public facilities also contribute to increased demand, requiring significant water for operations. California's water infrastructure, originally designed for a smaller population, now struggles to support the growing number of residents moving into the state. Aging infrastructure needs ongoing maintenance and upgrades to keep pace with population growth. Without sufficient investment, ensuring a reliable water supply for everyone becomes increasingly challenging. Urban development in California involves the rapid expansion of cities and towns to accommodate the rising population. This expansion significantly impacts water resources. Cities consume substantial amounts of water, residential areas for homes, gardens, and parks, commercial areas for businesses, shopping centers, and offices, and public services like hospitals, schools, and fire departments. As cities expand, the demand for water naturally increases. New housing developments require water for construction and landscaping, while new businesses and industries escalate water usage in their operations. Urban development often transforms natural landscapes into built environments like buildings, roads, and parking lots, replacing forests, grasslands, and wetlands. These natural areas typically absorb rainwater and replenish underground water supplies. Paving over them reduces groundwater recharge, diminishing available water resources. As cities expand, competition for water intensifies between urban areas and agricultural regions, both requiring substantial amounts. For instance, new residential developments on former farmland alter water allocation, leading to conflicts over resources, such as in California's Central Valley where cities and farmers vie for water rights amid population growth and urbanization. Balancing these demands is a complex challenge. Agriculture is a significant part of California's economy and a major consumer of water resources. Despite advancements in irrigation technology and water conservation practices, some agricultural methods remain inefficient in their water use. Traditional irrigation methods, such as flood irrigation, involve flooding fields with water. While effective, this method often results in water loss due to evaporation and runoff. In contrast, modern techniques like drip irrigation deliver water directly to the plant roots, minimizing waste. However, not all farmers have adopted these more efficient methods due to costs and other barriers. Additionally, certain crops require large amounts of water to grow. 
For example, almonds and alfalfa are water-intensive crops commonly grown in California. Almond trees, in particular, need a significant amount of water throughout the year. Given that California produces over 80% of the world's almonds, the water demand for these crops is substantial. Alfalfa, used primarily as livestock feed, also consumes a considerable amount of water. The choice to grow these water-intensive crops in a drought-prone state exacerbates the water crisis. Water rights refer to the legal entitlements individuals or entities have to use water from a particular source. In California, water rights are often based on historical claims, which can create inefficiencies in water allocation. Senior water rights holders, those with older claims, have priority access to water even during shortages. This system can result in inefficient water use, as those with senior rights may not have incentives to conserve water. For example, a farmer with senior water rights might continue to irrigate fields even during a drought because their legal entitlement ensures access to water. This practice can lead to overuse and reduced availability for others. California's water infrastructure, built in the mid-20th century, faces challenges today due to a growing population and climate change. Aging systems need frequent maintenance and upgrades, but funding and bureaucratic delays hinder progress. Climate change exacerbates issues with extreme weather like droughts and heavy rains. Modernizing infrastructure is essential, with upgrades, new technologies, and facilities needed for better water capture and storage. Innovations like desalination and recycled water systems are crucial for a sustainable water future in California. California's water crisis stems from climate change, population growth, urban expansion, agricultural practices, and outdated water management systems. Meeting the state's water demands for residents, industries, and agriculture poses significant challenges. Addressing these issues requires innovative solutions, policy reforms, and collective societal efforts. Strategies include enhancing irrigation efficiency, upgrading water infrastructure, promoting conservation, and exploring new water sources like desalination and recycled water. Addressing climate change and embracing sustainable development are essential for ensuring California's future water security. Thank you for watching another episode of Just Discovery. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for updates on more exciting content. See you next time.